The James Webb Space Telescope, a project that took decades and billions along with the great minds in the making, is finally in space ready to show us the hidden realities of the universe. Where the telescope is going to peer into the first light, it is also going to solve the mystery of dark energy. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out all about how James Webb is going to solve the mystery of dark energy. The revolutionary telescope which was first proposed in 1989 has so far cost approximately $10 billion, will be able to look deeper into space than previous telescopes. This is due to its 6.5 meter primary mirror which is nearly three times the size of the Hubble Space Telescope. Because of the time it takes for light to reach us, we see objects as they were in the past. That means seeing the 13.8 billion year old universe as it was 100 million years after the Big Bang for objects that the JWST will be able to image. As a result, scientists may be able to finally solve the mystery of dark energy, the force that is causing the universe to expand at an accelerated rate. Dark energy is often confused with dark matter but the two are different things. The vast majority of our universe is hidden in plain sight. Though we can't see or touch it but astronomers believe dark matter and dark energy make up the majority of the universe. But what exactly is the distinction between dark energy and dark matter? In 1998, two rival teams of astronomers used the Hubble along with other telescopes to observe supernovae in distant galaxies and ascertain what the expansion of the universe is accelerating. This exposed the existence of an accelerating agent infusing all of space known as dark energy. In a nutshell, dark matter slows the expansion of the universe while dark energy accelerates it. Dark energy is by far the more powerful of the two, accounting for roughly 68% of the total mass and energy of the universe. Dark matter accounts for 27% of all matter. The rest, a measly 5%, is all the ordinary matter we see and interact with on a daily basis. Telescopic observations show that most galaxies are moving away from one another, implying that the galaxies were close together in the past. As a result, evidence for the Big Bang accumulated. Astronomers assumed, however, that the combined gravitational pull of all the universe's stars and galaxies should be slowing the universe's expansion. Perhaps it will eventually collapse in on itself in a big crunch. James Webb Space Telescope is going to unravel this mystery. Dark energy was first discovered through observations of distant supernovae and it was confirmed in 2003 through measurements of the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang. According to Adam Rees of the Space Telescope Science Institute, supernovae are like lampposts. They enable us to calculate the rate of expansion of the universe. Rees was one of the scientists who shared the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2011 for discovering dark energy and he believes that James Webb Space Telescope will allow for more precise measurements of supernovae which will allow for more precise measurements of the expansion of the universe which is related to dark energy. But how is James Webb going to see the unseen? While JWST is intended to go very deep in the infrared, the dark energy missions will conduct optical and near-infrared wide area surveys of a significant portion of the sky. In a document released by ESA in 2010, it is explained that studying dark energy requires wide area surveys either to find and identify supernova as they explode. JWST was originally conceived and designed to conduct deep surveys efficiently. It is similar to HST 
and its ability to conduct wide area surveys. The wide area survey consists of combined imaging and spectroscopy of a common survey region using the Wide Field Instrument or WFI. JWST is designed as an infrared telescope for peering deep into the past and beyond the cosmos, with a narrow field of view for looking at single objects very closely. That's exactly what you want for imaging the universe's first stars and studying the atmospheres of different worlds. The JWST should provide a better picture of the universe's expansion by allowing scientists to see cosmic explosions known as Type I supernovas farther into the universe and thus further back in time than ever before. Light outputs of this type of supernova, which is the result of the explosion of a carbon-oxygen-rich white dwarf in a binary system caused by it greedily pulling material from its companion star, are so regular that they are referred to as standard candles. Astronomers have used these standard candles to measure distances for decades because of their uniformity. However, observations of distant examples revealed something startling about the universe in the late 1990s. Albert Einstein was taken aback in the early 20th century when astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was expanding. The great physicist, like the rest of the scientific community, believed that the universe was static and unchanging. He even introduced a factor called the cosmological constant into his groundbreaking equations of general relativity to prevent them from predicting a dynamic and changing cosmos. What is responsible for this acceleration is currently unknown, but the researchers have named it the dark energy. Luz Angela Garcia, a cosmologist at the Universidad ECCI Colombia, told News, Dark energy is a subtle, smooth, and uniform component, accounting for no less than 70% of the total amount of matter energy of the universe. The use of dark energy to provide an answer to the observed expansion rate today and explain with a robust model the large-scale structure of the universe seen by wide-area astronomical surveys, observations of the universe at a large scale. With the James Webb Space Telescope, the scientists will be able to peer into dark energy. But is James Webb really capable of studying dark energy? With that, we have come to the end of our video. Some theoretical physicists believe there is an entire dark realm of particles and forces waiting to be discovered. Whatever dark energy and dark matter are made of, they appear to be tugging at our universe's fabric, both holding it together and pulling it apart. And James Webb might help us answer that. Do you think JWST is capable of solving dark energy? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.